Hey everybody, this is Sherry with CPR, Craft, Pray, Repeat, and I'm here today with another 2017 Christmas tag video, this time using Elizabeth Craft's winter sweater die. And what I did was I started with using my Recollections 110 pound cardstock, which is why I have that metal shim, but I definitely do not recommend using that 110 pound cardstock because it was just too much for my uh, machine to try to cut through two sheets of it and it couldn't and plus you're going to add the piece you're working on to the front so you know use your regular thinner card stock and then when you put the piece that you're decorating and all the layers that go on it on top it, you know, you won't notice the difference in the weight, I promise you. And I will make sure that I put all of the colors that I'm using on the screen for you. And this set here is called Greeting Farm uh, Wood Woodland Friends. And I'm just using my E30 family to color it up. And you notice I don't go clear to the bottom. That's because there's a little... Um, bought you know rib that goes around ribbing that goes around the bottom of it so you won't see that and then what I did for it was I used 31 33 and 35 for the darker part of the deer and then for the face and the tail where I want it lighter and the inside of the ears I used 30 31 and 33 and now I will show you two of the tags that I made in the video and how I colored them and everything and here's where I you know originally I had decided that I was you know cut it and you know make my tag the way I was and then realized that it was just too thick plus you were going to be able to see my Copic coloring from the back so that's when I realized cut it thinner you know and then cut this off and just use one piece one layer to make your you know your actual front piece and then for the sweater, I used R08, 27, and 29. And on this one, I just put some little dots with the R29 and 27. And then I go over and just kind of lightly blend them out with the R08. That way, it gives me a little bit of texture look to the sweater. And this is one of my favorite ones, but the next one that you'll see is like, I loved it. Actually, there were so many, I just had so much fun. And I was trying to make ugly sweaters, but because all of the images are so darn cute, it's like near impossible to make an ugly sweater. So you'll see in the pictures that one of them, I think I finally managed to make an ugly sweater. And that's because I put horrible, god-awful, ugly pink dots on it. And I'm thinking I would cringe if I had to wear this thing. But all the other ones I loved. So I don't know if you want to call it an ugly sweater or a cute sweater. But it's a Christmas tag no matter how you want to look at it. And because of the way I cut it, I will be able to put adhesive on the back. Peel that off. Put it on your tag. and then Or on your present. And then all you have to do is lift lift the top layer up and you'll be able to see your to and from and there's where I'm blending in you know all of the little dots and things that I put on and it works really well see bloop, cut that off because I realized that you know I was going to be able to see the back of it anyways so there I attach it to an actual other card base now here I'm using the Tim Holtz Forest Moss Distress Ink and my new ink blending tool which I love from Little Acres Creations and I am not I don't have anything to do with Shell and her store or her design team that thing is the bomb diggity it is so much easier to hold than you know the regular Tim Holtz ones it just feels better in your hand I just I can't even begin to explain why it's different but it's different and it's better and I know that she lowered the price which she was only asking 20 to begin with and her husband hand carves these people so I mean it takes several 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 hours for him to do this so they were well worth the $20 but she did lower the price to 15 and if you want if you have any 
issues with your hands or arthritis or, you know, your hand swelling or whatever, you will not regret purchasing that because it's awesome. So here I just used the Avery L. Caroling Critters and I put the bear in the center and then I just used the, the Cool Gray Zero One and then my Collarless Blender for the bear because I wanted him to be like a polar bear. But remember, if we want something white, we still need to put the shadows in it. And I put my shadows on the edges and then got lighter as I went to the center so that made my sweater look or my sweater pfft, my bear look more round and um, this one here is like one of my favorites and I love this red combination for the sweater I just flipped over it and I probably have I don't know probably 10 or more finish that you'll see in the pictures but some of them instead of using images and colored them I used um, some different die cuts and especially now I know that I used let me see I think the one is the penguin I believe is a oh it's a cottage cuts that's what it was and I was able to kind of tip it to the side so it looks like it's popping out the side of the sweater so it is so cute and I used some already pre-colored images from imagine that digi stamp so i mean there are just the, the the ways you can decorate these are just endless endless and one i use or two of them i use pattern paper and one i am punched out some snowflakes so i mean there's just all different kinds of things that you can do with these and you will be seeing quite a few christmas tags between now and the end of November or but till Thanksgiving because I really want to have plenty for my family to pick from and make sure that they get the ones that they like and and um, and you know I you know I've said in the past how special this is to me because it kind of gives me the feeling that somehow even though I'm so far away I'm still part of my family's Christmas so so here I am I'm just cleaning up some of the you know where I went over and you have to be real careful with the red if you go over it's really hard the rest of the colors the colorless blender pretty much takes care of but man it'll give you a fit on that red so if you're gonna use red just you know be real careful and um, and you know try try your best to stay in the lines maybe you know if you need to like me slow down when I get to that point and um, and I used the E40s, 41 and 42 for the paper because I wanted it to look like old music paper, or at least that was my thinking. And then for the sweater, I used the Cool Gray family again, C4, 5, and 7. And it, I didn't want it to be blue, and I didn't want it to be black, and... I can't I, I mean I know it's it's a gray family but it is it's such a close call as to whether it's you know blue or blue gray or you know I mean it's just not a plain gray I I can't explain it to you and maybe you'll be able to see better in the pictures and here I am just adding my shadows and <laughs> excuse me and I do end up using my clear, my clear star, my clear star jelly roll pen, my Spectrum Noir shimmer pen, and my black glaze pens for these. Plus, of course, I use um, in the ones that you'll see in the pictures, I will have used some snow text, a small tiny stamp. Or punch snowflake punch I will have used the uh, a pink souffle pen uh, there's just all different kinds of ways that you can decorate them and I did a really cute one again with a different reindeer and he was from imagine that digi and uh, that digi stamp and he's already pre collared so you don't have to try to fight coloring something so tiny which personally works great for me because of 
you know, my vision problems and all, I'm able to get a product out there that I didn't have to struggle over, but still got to do and kind of personalize and make my own without, you know, trying to fight to color such a tiny image. And so I'm going to be finishing up coloring in the sweater, and that's when I come in with the clear star jelly roll pen. Now, I just use a ruler. Now, I use a clear one so I could see. You use whatever you have, whatever works for you. And, um, so, I mean, I just, I love sweater. I, I live in Florida, so I don't get to wear many sweaters. But when I do, I love the ones that have the little flecks of, like, gold or silver woven through them. Those are my favorite kind of sweaters. So that's what I was trying to mimic with um, this sweater and what I do with the Clear Star Jelly Roll pen. And there I am. I'm starting to put it on and I'm just putting the lines through. I didn't measure it or anything. I just eyeballed it. If you're, you know, really precise and, and it's that important to you, you can, you know, definitely measure it. But I wasn't that picky. And I just, my deal was to not try to run the silver um, mark through the image, which I did and messed up a couple of times and did. But I, if I caught it when it was still wet and I had just put it down, so I was kind of able to push it back with my fingernail, which, you know, worked pretty good in most of the instances. And in the other ones, it wasn't quite as noticeable. And so I'm just doing, now doing the sleeves. And, uh, and I just love how it sparkles. I mean, it just reminds me of one of those beautiful sweaters that you see with the, the metallic, um, core ribbing through it, or the cording through it with the gold or the silver at Christmas time, because I just think that's beautiful. And I just put a scrap piece of paper down so I didn't write all over my table, which is why that yellow piece is back there. And now I'm going to put in my Spectrum Noir Shimmer on the little music note paper. And then I will go and finish up the, um, the cuffs and the ribbing across the bottom. And here I use my Spectrum Noir Shimmer for this one as well. And you can see where I did the green. And on the blue one, I actually end up doing um, silver metallic paper. Alright guys, I hope you liked this video. Please remember to practice your CPR, craft, pray, repeat, and thanks for visiting me today and happy crafting. Bye!